Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Good. Bishop Good. Brennan. Thank you. I'm looking forward to this. Thank Bishop you. Robert Brennan is seated front and center in class, and these students are taking him to school on STEM. The St. Bartholomew Catholic Academy Sharp Blades were Bishop Brennan's first introduction into Catholic Schools Week. The robotics team on a mission to win an upcoming competition. To get as many points as possible. And break boundaries in Catholic education. You don't only learn about the robot, we also learn about like cells and reproduction. And it's like enlightening. <laughs> St. Bartholomew considers itself a small school with big pride, with just 160 students. Close to 70% of the school is undocumented. St. Bartholomew pastor, Father Rick Buther, says that comes with a big sacrifice. We want to show that sacrifice really pays off and uh, shows a new generation of young Catholics showing greatness. Bishop Brennan says the sacrifice extends beyond money as parents enter a partnership with the school to give their children the best education possible. They work away at people's sacrifice and they make the commitment and they really do what they can to make it happen for their children. Nearly half of the school receives scholarships and as more students get involved in STEM and other science programs, Principal Denise Gonzalez says they're empowered and prepared to practice their craft and their faith outside the classroom. They acquire this confidence so our family, they sacrifice, especially after the pandemic. For these students, attending St. Bartholomew has driven them toward a new passion, one that's allowing them to see how science and faith collide. You think that science and religion don't have anything to like correlate with each other, when in fact there are like things that do. In the Bible, they say that the start of the world, there's like light, while in science there is like an explosion, which basically starts off the universe. The Sharp Blades will compete virtually in February in a first Lego League competition against 30 other schools. In Elmhurst, Jessica Easthope. Currents News. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.